Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TKF Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine friends. Well friends, uh, today I have received one shipment parcel from, uh, from Kerala. So, sorry for uh, the address for having the address because it's customer's privacy. So well friends, uh, let's check uh, what is the uh, what is inside? So let's unbox this one. And we start unboxing this one. Friends, this is uh, this is the power supply module. This is the power supply module for uh, S thirty N DVA. It's DB technology, the digital vertical array. So this power supply module belongs to the to model. It's a, it's a high power uh, subwoofer. Uh, system so this belongs to that so i think this is the faulty power supply module so he sent this uh, for repair so let's check so we'll apply input power and check what is the issue in this just keep watching my video guys so this is the site okay so we'll Apply power here and check what is the status. So why there is no uh, what is the issue in this? So friends, I have already connected the input supply, the connector. So we put it on and check what is the issue in this. So I'm putting on now. I put it on. See, there is only yellow light is coming. Can see so this, there is a fault inside. You can see there is yellow light. Okay. So this is the problem. Okay. So you can see there is a light. So power is coming. You can see so there is a fault. This is the indication that there is a fault inside the power supply. Okay, so we'll so I'll put it off and on again. Can you see the light? So I put it off. I'll put it on again. So this is the problem. So I put it off first. So take it out this one. So now what we'll do, we'll just remove this one. We need to remove it out completely power supply board to check inside. Okay guys. So all screw will remove. We need to check inside. So first we'll remove the top cover, then PCB, everything we need to remove it out. So guys, I have removed all the four screws over here. So we'll take it this out. So this is the fan cover. So now one, two, three. So we need to take it out. All the this one metal strip, which is supporting to that MOSFETs and rectifiers. So we'll take it out. This one and some screws are there inside. All seven to eight screws are there. So we'll take it those out also to remove out this PCB. So guys, I have removed all this one. So now we'll take it out. Okay, this is the one. 
so first uh, my friend will clean this one with the blower so too much dust is there so guys I have connected the line so we'll put it on and check uh, first we'll check the voltages voltage is coming or not okay so I'll put it on I have put it on so here is the sorry here is the AC voltage see voltage is coming okay and uh, this is the bridge rectifier so this is your DC voltage so DC voltage is coming okay perfect this is your main filter capacitor see so it means power is coming perfectly so we'll this is connect as a ground we'll connect this negative as a ground so now we'll check some voltages so we'll connect this as a common so we'll connect this as common so guys here this is uh, IR this IC is IR 1155S IR 1155S this is a PFC IC uh, power factor control IC this is the one there are they have used two ICs in this one is PFC IC one is a uh, gate driver IC this is 73 this is 7387 IC this one so they have used two IC this is uh, uh, self oscillated high voltage gate driver IC this is and this is uh, power factor control IC this is so we'll check some voltages around here first because rest of the things will come to know so I will put it on now again this is my negative I put it on see supply is there ok we'll check some voltages Voltages are coming. Some voltages dropping somewhere my friend so voltage somewhere is dropping so somewhere voltage is dropping my friend the fluctuation also there no voltage see there is a fluctuation So there is a fluctuation also there in voltages. You can see a fluctuation also there in voltages. So friends, what we will do now? So fluctuation is there in voltages. So guys there is something wrong I think so not what we will do we will put it off so I have put it off so what we will do we will just check some uh, ohmic test some resistance test over this IC 
so we'll come to know exactly what will be the issue because voltage is dropping somewhere okay just keep watching my video guys so first uh, discharge it so i'm discharging with the capacitor this is discharge capacitor so i have discharge this one remove this out so I have already discharged we will check the voltage now 9 volt is there so we will discharge again so it is discharged completely So guys, we'll check some test over here. We'll check some moment testing. So I will connect this on the diode range. So here is the diode. And here this is connected with the resistor. This is 5 ohms resistor. This is see compute the resistors so the condition of the MOSFET MOSFET is good, this is rectified out this is also good this is a transistor I think ok guys this is good This is the main IC uh, PFC control. This is the main uh, PFC control IC, power factor control IC. So the pin number one, the pin number one is grounded. This is this is the grounded pin. See this is grounded. So pin number two is okay. Three is showing hundred ohms. I think because this hundred ohms is connected. See connected. This is point three and pin number four. From pin number 5 and pin number 6 is going to, I think, pin number 8 is showing some shorting. Right? Actually, pin number 7, this is pin number 7. Guys, this is pin number 7. It is showing some ohms, see, 1.5, 1.7 ohms. Pin number 7 is the positive supply to this pin. And pin number 8 nothing pin number 5 6 is ok 7 is supply pin this is actually the supply pin is really defective it's having it is showing some ohms see it's showing some ohms 1.1 1 .1 ohms 1.2 ohms not 0 ohms completely only ohms it is showing so I'm suspecting this IC so guys this IC need to be replaced. See, we need to replace this IC. This IC looks defective, so we need to replace this IC. This IC number is uh, IR1155S. This is the uh, PFC IC, power factor control IC. So, it is showing shorting with the body, with the ground. So, we will try to replace this IC, my friend. Just keep watching my video. So guys, we have removed the defective IC, see, this is the faulty IC, okay, the number of this IC is IR1155S, this is the main, F, uh, main uh, PFC con control IC, so we have removed this, the old one IC this is, so we will just clean this first.
is there any shorting here before this was showing pin number one to seven so no no shorting so it means the IC is defective so we will replace the IC with the new one now so this is our new one IC this is the new IC my friend okay the one so now we'll check uh, is there any shorting so before this is ground before this was showing some 1.2 ohm something like that now see 506 okay guys so this is perfect now so now we'll put it on and check what is the status so this is the old IC is the defective IC so we have replaced uh, uh, PFC IC in this which is uh, was defective okay so now we'll put it on and check So we'll put it on and we'll check this light should go off this is yellow light if our power supply is good then there should this light should not be illuminated it should not get on okay so we'll put it on and check step by step so i have connected and always remember check in series first we'll put it on and we'll check now step by step so guys we'll check it out now so i will put the fan connector so that if, if everything is okay so fan will move fan will start moving okay so so we'll put it on now and we'll check we'll check the output voltages also so i'll put it on So this light see if our power supply is good and this light will go off this yellow light if there is a fault this yellow light will on if there is no fault if everything is good then this yellow light will once on and it will get off automatically okay guys we'll put it on and check i'll put it on now see i'm putting on put it on see yellow light comes and went see fan started so our power supply is good so we'll check the voltages see this is plus 13 minus 13 this is high voltage minus 78 this is plus 80 so guys i cannot keep for long time because there is no heat sink so it's working fine now so i'll put it off i put it off now because I cannot keep this for a long time because the MOSFET will get overheated so guys so our power supply is good we have replaced the IC so thank you very much for watching my video guys take care see you very soon next video bye